Sims is gonna love this. Oh, great. <laughs> now there's a hacker involved in all this? Because the situation wasn't bad enough as it is. I wonder what this is about. Hey folks, welcome back to After Work Gaming. Tonight we're back in Orwell for another session. Let's just take a look at what we have to do. We are looking for more information on the thought. So let's just close this up. Last time we started looking into Juliet Carrington and Harrison O'Donnell, both of whom attended Goldfell's class, and who were also members of this group called the Targets, although Juliet I think left, and then these, uh, this group, the Targets, is what Cassandra saw, and that sort of is what ties them together and is a central strain, that then they all ended up in thought, or the thought together. Okay, so let's quickly go back and start looking again at, we were looking at the band, and the reason we were looking at the band was, first of all, I want to get these photos, get this photo here, uh, but it, because they have names, right? So Hancock is Harrison's uh, stage name. Oh, that's quite an ego we've got there, haven't we? I agree, Symes. Uh, even though, well, hold on, Hancock, Danton, Castro... Trotsky. Ooh, here we go. Tubman. Okay, so I get what Symes is talking about. He's um, he's saying that all these names, well, all these names are connected somehow to figures, to historical figures, if with uh, certain anti-establishment leanings, depending on how you want to see John Hancock. Let's get this photo in. Uh, but the only per well, I say all of them. I don't, I can't place Danton. So if anybody knows, just let me know in the comments. Tubman is the stage name for Juliet. Or was the stage name? Okay, so that's that. Oh, no, wait, hold on, we didn't check out albums. <laughs> hold on. Uh, let's just switch this photo, perfect. The targets, albums. With more and more poverty in the streets, it's about time for the capitalists to finally recognize them as viable target group. It's time for an advertisement for the poor, out now. Listen to Pipe Dreams. Uh, well, we'll listen to that in a second. So, advertisement for the poor, this is their newest album. Oh, and it's off the... Okay, so the, that's the sample is the uh, cut off their latest album. The tracks are exposed advertising for the poor, nosebleed sick, overcome, how you live, strip to the core, pipe dreams, go home, you're drunk. Our album is now available at any g damn good music store, the physical ones, screw streaming, okay. The Riot, that was their previous one, two years ago. Rise, you're is... We'll get that in a second. You're inside a riot, wrong about us, fight back, stone to the knee, nation army. Uh, sorry folks that th this one's all sold out. Drop by one of our concerts and get one for free, or drop Hancock a line, oh, we already know, and Harrison, at this, and this is his email. Perfect. Let's grab his email address. Excellent. You will now have access to any emails coming in or out of this account. Oh, and what do you know? From unknown person to Harrison. Uh, order confirmation. Hmm. Hello, Mr. O'Donnell. Thank you for shopping at Semiramis Simi Flowers. Whatever. We hereby confirm your order, number 122145, of the following products. One, bouquet, lovely, with tag to Angela. $25. Well, I mean, it's pretty safe to say he's not dating Juliet anymore. The total has already been subtracted from your account. Uh... Oh, I got your account, man. The delivery is ready to be picked up from the Semiramis Flowers store. Bonton City this afternoon. Have a nice day. Have a nice and florid day, your Semiramis team. Okay, so we're going to grab this because why not? Could be another person, right? Uh, and we'll get his bank account. Ooh. Uh, hold on, let me just check. Yeah. So we have a bunch of data chunks. I suspect that we're going to read. So what we're, what we're going to do is we're going to finish reading all of this new information and then we're going to start, I think, cleaning up the page a little bit and entering some of the information that are left hanging out there. Just because, you know, I don't want to. Let's just finish up with uh, the targets here. Hancock decided to quit the band. This is interesting, because this is, check this out, this is, an, this is an upcoming gig. This is their latest one that was canceled. We saw that last time. But uh, I kind of want this information, because maybe it's no he's no longer affiliated, former member. We have seen that these can change a little. Not that you can take away information, but they can modify. They can get modified by other pieces of information you see. Uh, this is this one. I don't want to touch. This one has confused me. I've I've thought about it here and there since the last episode. I still don't know. I think we just have to get more information. 
Uh, oh, and this is another photo. But I suspect that I'm going to go with this photo. I think this is probably the more recent photo. Okay, let's take a look at his. Yep, exactly what I thought it was. It was his bank statement uh, available. Okay, 1400 bucks in the bank with the last 30 days of transactions. Let's start at the... Oh, well, yeah, okay. At the bottom because I, I, this is the earliest one. So, drugstore. He still had some money. Supermarket. Then he goes into the red. Easy vid on demand. So, video streaming, I guess. Uh, another drugstore charge. Overcharge. Overdraft fee. Okay. Another drugstore visit. What the heck? 12 days. 3 days. Okay. There we go. $3,500 payment. That's a no-brainer. Let's grab that from the National Beholder Publishing. Payment from the National Beholder sounds like some sort of secret affiliation. Keep looking for more info. I will. What the heck? Security warning. Unrecognized access to account. Your FTBN online bank account was just used for an unrecognized... Orwell! You were supposed to, like, be better than this. Don't trip alarms in civilian systems. Okay, Un unrecognized operating system, unrecognized browser, unrecognized location. Well, at least that's a positive. Uh, don't recognize this activity review. Okay, so basically, some stuff's going on with your account. Fine, we're not going to worry about that. Bottom line, he knows that somebody's snooping in his stuff. Okay, we'll cross that bridge when we get there, I guess. Uh, camping. He gets money on the first, goes camping on the first. Why are there two life insurance payments? Owns two health insurances. Yeah, we're gonna get that. Symes, a guy his age planning on doing something dangerous, perhaps? I mean, it could be the camping, but... Uh, I mean, look at that. That's 1,300, well, 1,300, jeez. Um, calm down, your friendly technology marketplace. Order... I kind of want to know what this is, because he got some tech. Okay, that's two days later, and got a supermarket visit. Another, another? Five days later, another drugstore. Uh, three days later, another drugstore. Uh, supermarket, video. This is like a monthly fee, right? 45 57 yeah, that's it. And then the flowers. Okay, what is this going to do in this? This is a very, he's a very frequent customer in bot. Yes, please. I don't know why, but that just seems weird. Uh, either he values his hygiene, or it might as well be uh, material intended to wash away a freedom memorial. I think you're reading a little too much into that, Symes. I'm thinking maybe he has the same problem that Cassandra has, where maybe he needs uh, some sort of medication. But I don't know. Is there anything left here? No. Okay, so that's done. Okay, so now, by now, we let's just close up some of these things that we've all looked through completely. We have looked through all the material. This is last time somebody took this website down. <laughs> and then when we went there, they started hacking Orwell, or at least there was a malware script that executed and tried to like go after Orwell. I'm assuming it didn't go anywhere, because this is Orwell. Anyway, so let's start looking through and cleaning up some of these data chunks, shall we? Uh, the Timelines website. What the heck? I'll be there in half an hour. The torture and cruelty, my friend. Friend, friend. Engaged in torture? No, thank you. Did we take care of this the last time? Or, well, didn't I tell you that this was ridiculous? This is right up there with you thinking Cassandra's a lawyer when her lawyer is using her account. We got some stuff to learn, man. What else we got? What else we got? Here we go. How come you care so much about politics now? Recently involved... Mm -mm -mm. Wait, hold on. I can't... Yeah, there we go. Yes, please. This seems me first Miss Watergate, and now her? Is there some sort of brainwashing going on? I don't know, Sims. Maybe? Okay, okay, okay. Um, I think we're done with her. Yes, we've just deactivated some chunks. Harrison. Uh, this thing. Easily jealous. Maybe we can use that. Let's grab that. Um, let's grab that. Maybe it'll be helpful in... What do you call it? In understanding how to like approach him if we ever arrest him, maybe like uh, I don't know, I don't know, some sort of psychological tactic. Who knows? 
I don't put anything past this game right now. Uh, our family. This is the thing that Symes didn't want. He didn't want me, like, yelling, you know, pulling all this stuff. But, hand to God, I would pull all of it if I had the chance. Okay, this is the conflicting data chunk. Let's see what else we have before we do that. This is the conflicting data chunk. Oop, nope, coming back. Okay, so this is Juliet. Let's open Juliet. This is her and her mom. Uh, lives at home. Yes, let's grab that. Because this helps, this might help us pinpoint. Now to find her parents' address, yes. Heading out with some friends. Now what is that? That is activities. But of course we know she doesn't like going out. So. Uh, let's grab that. Come on, grab it, yes. It's Friday and Miss Carrington has plans to go out tonight. That information would normally be innocuous. But we know she dislikes- Thank you, Symes. She dislikes going out. That's exactly what I'm talking about. People are truly creatures of habit. Maybe she really does want to go out, but this seems a little odd. What is she really doing? Um, I don't know, but I'm with you in that that seems like an excuse that she tells to her mom. Okay, so now we come here. Right? Right? Wait, oh no, wait, hold on. I wanted to see if there were any other data chunks, but apparently we got something. Uh, no, not here. Is there something? Oh, here we go. And here's that. At the same time, they began to build a house in Malloy Court, a little spot in Farview. Well, we know she's in Farview. This seems like her, where she lives. There we go. Huh, funny. This is right around the corner from where I live. Yeah, Symes, get on finding her, would you? Instead of telling me about the mundanity of your own existence. Okay, so, let's talk about this for a second, because I've been thinking about it, and this is the one that puzzles me the most. So she says, in the conversation with the lawyer, Oh yeah, it was a... Th okay, so, and so I thought, you know, you, uh, you two were in the thought group together, you both went to the Freedom Plaza protest, yes. I thought maybe you'd know the places that would be important for her, the two of you, where she could eat. Uh, she would be at, where she could eat, where she could be at. Juliet, uh, Joseph, yeah, I'm sorry, Freedom Plaza was organized by thought, but Harrison did all the planning for it. Okay, so she's putting it on Harrison. On the other hand, we've got this comment here, such a blaze, I'm assuming that's uh, kid speak, or uh, awesome. <laughs> really love your new guitarist, Triss will definitely come to the Freedom Plaza demo. I just have to get to know Juliet, especially since she's the one organizing this. Smiley face. Okay, so this post... Oh wait, hold on! <laughs> it's Cassarthus! It's, um, it's Cassandra. So this is right before she meets Juliet formally, because... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Cassandra Watergate? No. First met Cassandra Watergate at the Freezing Plaza protest. That's it. So this is right before they meet, and she's saying Juliet's organizing. Okay? And then we have this other data chunk. And before we actually decide it, so to give us a little thought, uh, a, little, a little chance to think, I realized what we never did was we never listened to Pipe Dreams. So let's just listen to it now. Uh, I'm actually curious, maybe there's something in this for us to listen to and, like, get. I don't know, maybe they're gonna sing about violence? I don't know. Uh, let's give it a shot, and in the meantime, I'm also gonna think about what to do here. Okay, so here we go.
Okie dokie then. <laughs> Not my particular cup of tea. I will say if I listen to punk rock, it, it'll probably be closer to like late era uh, bad religion. Or, I mean, I guess probably just like Joy Division. Like just straight, really just straight out punk. Um, let's go back to the gigs piece. Uh, although, to be fair, I'm more of a heavy metal guy. I, you know, I like punk, but meh. I, I'm, I'm much more of a heavy heavy metal person. Okay, so... I, I While the song was playing, I had a little bit of a think. And here's the thought process, okay? When is it that people are the most honest, right? What can you believe? The thing you can believe the most is contemporaneous information. And why is that? Because memory fades, people make mistakes, or in this case, there was a bombing in the place where the protest happened, and also that Cassandra was arrested in the plaza where the protest happened, and it was in connection with Juliet, etc. And Juliet's talking to Cassandra's lawyer, right? So all I'm saying is, between these two narrators, both of whom are technically unreliable, right? I don't know, Cassandra could be wrong. Cassandra could be lionizing Juliet and saying, oh, I really love her, I want to meet her. You know, I heard through the grapevine or whatever by, by virtue of, you know, playing telephone that Juliet is organizing it plus Purple Monkey dishwasher, right? It, it, there's no guarantee that Cassandra's right. On the other hand, I'm going to put dollars to donuts that it's much more likely that Juliet is trying to distance herself from whatever the heck happened at Freedom Plaza, you know? Yes, I will agree that it was thought. No, it wasn't me. I wasn't responsible, especially since you're the guy who ended up having to come in and bail Cassandra out, and I'm assuming that you have Cassandra's best interests in mind. Um, so yeah, it was all Harrison, okay? So that is why I'm not gonna go with this. I'm actually gonna go with Cassandra's contemporaneous statement, like a day or two before the actual protest, apparently, that Juliet was the one that was organizing it. Okay? So that's my thought. That's the thought process. Could be totally wrong. But you know what? Fortune favors the bold. Symes. So, that Freedom Plaza demonstration was one of Thought's protests. Not immensely surprising. One down, two more protest locations to go. Oh, here we go. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Boys got... Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. Juliet's calling Harrison. This will be interesting. Mm. You got a Donald. Harrison, it's me. <laughs> well, well, well. Look who it is. I knew this moment would come one day, but you've caught me by surprise. Harrison. Shh, Juliet. Ever since we first made out on that clear night on the Stellagan Greenfield, I knew it was destiny. I know you never really meant to. Will you please spare me your juvenile bullshit? <laughs> I didn't believe it at first, but it really is you. <sighs> to what do I owe the pleasure of your beautiful voice? You miss me? So this is why you did it? You make me call you back again? Th the heck are you talking about? Come on, don't play dumb. Great administrator, I'm talking about the thought page you so generously volunteered to maintain. What? Give me a sec. Oh, I guess Julie, I guess they're about to see that it got hacked. What the? Fuck is this shit? You messing around with me, Jules? Now, are you seriously trying to say this wasn't your doing? Why would I fucking want to disgrace Thought? <laughs> Maybe because of the same reason you bailed out of Thought all of a sudden? Thought didn't do shit anymore since Abe disappeared, but turning it around that way made a damn fine excuse for you to bail out on the two of us, huh? Maybe then because... Maybe then because you disgraced Thought before by hiding all of the articles on the Thought blog except Cassandra's. Abe archived the first one because he didn't even want us to know. None of us could ever access them. I merely did the same with the rest because that would also be in Abe's interest. And Cass wanted to show her article around. Oh please, I know you deleted all your rebellious posts to secure your cozy job writing that ridiculous opinion column for the TNB. You know, it's funny, you dare speak of disgrace when Rosen is the government's personal bitch, in case you didn't know. Almost makes you the same thing, in my book. So you really don't know anything about the hack then? I don't have a friggin' clue. Can you revert the changes? You bet. I'll hunt down the son of a bitch. Just revert it, okay? 
I don't care who did it, I just can't stand our memories being toyed around with. Okay, okay. We'll be done in no time, ma'am. Never could say no to you. <laughs> if only. Anyway, thank you. Oh. Oh, what a complex web we weave, folks. Uh, this is a lot of information to process. So, first things first. I don't care about that right now. Um, a lot of this is really about Harrison. He's out of thought, so he's gone. Okay. Symes. Oh, is that so? Huh. We still need to keep observing him, though. Yeah, I'm with you, Symes. Something's going on here, man. Uh, thought didn't do shit anymore since Abe disappeared. Yeah, it disappeared, causing thought to become inactive. Uh... Harrison will die. What was that beep? Hold on. Um, is there anything? No. Weird. Yo, oh, 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 I see what it was. It was the connection ended. How did it persist so long? Weird. Uh, anyway, let's go back to these. Uh... Bail out of the, yeah, their former, former, in a former relationship. We knew that, but I guess Symes and Orwell didn't see that. Symes, seems that today's new targets have a common history, something more than belonging to thought. Yes. Uh, you deleted all your rebellious posts, yes, to get the TNB job. This I want. Because that explains the paycheck. Or the, the check. Hey, I read this one quite re regularly. I wasn't at all aware it was our guy. I'm assuming they have the same name, Symes. The TNB probably didn't know either. Also, this must be what the large payment receiver is for. Yeah, okay. Last horse crosses the finish line, Symes. A bark have the first ones you disgraced thought before by hiding all the articles. Okay, so he hid the articles. Uh, Symes. Where's the timeline? Now the thought blog. You have a lot to hide, Mr. O'Donnell. Yeah, but he wanted that job. Uh, for now, let's just go with that as a story. Thought didn't do shit once they... Eh, A bark have the first one. Okay, so these are for Goldfells go for him archiving the first one. That's his own first post. Sort of musing about it. Uh, Symes. This gets more confusing by the minute. Why do you hide something on a group's blog from its own members? A hidden agenda, perhaps? Well, that is also the post that had the three stanzas. Or the thoughts are free. But we could access it. Remember? There, there was a direct link that we could go to. But, okay, fine. Uh, thought didn't do shit once Abe disappeared. Causing thought to become inactive. I don't know about the disappeared part, but certainly inactive. Disappeared, I think, is going to get clarified. Uh, Graham Goldfeld? Abraham Goldfeld's disappeared? Causing the group to be inactive. They're no longer active? Well, seems to me like someone still is. I'm with you, and it's starting to rain. Well, that's not ominous at all, guys. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Harrison got an email. Unknown person. To Harrison O'Donnell. I see you. Knock knock, Harrison. Seems I caught you pants down on that little page of yours. Confused? <laughs> Why, that's fine. You don't know me, and I like to keep it that way, but I know a lot about you, media punk. If you knew what I know, what you know about what this little group of yours did, you would find it just as hard to ignore that those bombs might just carry your name tag. Get what I'm talking about, right? So, the Righteous Hacker Initiate will expose all information I got on you. Might interest the cops, won't it? I have no love for the Gov, but I will do what I must. So give me one good reason not to do it and I might reconsider. Okie dokie. Uh, let's go ahead and update this. Yeah, I need Harrison. Symes is gonna love this. Oh, great. <laughs> now there's a hacker involved in all this? Because the situation wasn't bad enough as it is. I wonder what this is about. W uh, yeah? Wait. Oh, a response. A response from our good friend, Harrison. Harrison O'Donnell to Initiate. I guess that's the name of the hacker now. Ray ICU. Hey, wise ass, this is the most pathetic blackmailing attempt I've read in a long time. You want a damn good reason not to call the cops? I can give you three. One, you hacked my site, i.e. my web server. Last time I checked, this was highly illegal. Something about glass houses and stones. Two, 
I don't get what you want to have. Fu- I don't get what you want to have found out about me. True, our protest didn't always go as planned, but since you claim to know so much about me, you should know that this was hardly my fault. What I wanted is all in my blog. Not a word about fucking bombing people, only grabbing attention. But you never even found that, huh? Where are your mad skills, hacker boy? I'll throw you a breadcrumb so you don't feel too miserable. My nick. 3. I'm the wrong person to mess around with. Leave my page alone. Roll it back and then don't dare touch it again. I will get you. Promise. H. P.S. For your own worthless sake, I hope it wasn't you who broke into my bank account, else you're a neck deep in sheep shit even more than you already are. Thought I didn't notice, did you? Like I said, the wrong guy. The very wrong guy. <laughs> well, uh, at least silver lining, we're not going to be the one, you know. He's already pinning the, the bank account thing on this guy, so I'm okay with that. Let's see what this would have been. He would have been a blogger. I mean, well, the thought, right? Let's not do anything. Let's uh, let's actually do the following. I'm gonna read. Wait, wait. Another timelines. Pe- oh, there's another timelines post on Juliet. Uh, let's just read this stuff, and I think we'll leave it there. But I just want to get all the stuff read so that it's in our heads, right? Let's look at Juliet real quick. Juliet. Uh, today. Okay, so this got posted today. I'm assuming 5 p.m. This is like right now. Okay. When I learned about Still again this morning, and that people, that two people had been killed, I felt devastated. Because I felt responsible. Really? I've spent five years of my life at this university. I even organized a peaceful protest at the Stilligan campus. It has been the center of my life for a while, and to see terrorists pervert this place for their foul reasons strikes my heart. I feel truly, truly sorry for anyone concerned. Plan to protest at Stilligan University. And we don't know what the conflicting data chunk is. Okay, that's fine. And I'm assuming this is going to be Harrison's article. Yep, Harrison O'Donnell. Symes, again, how do you not know it's the same guy? Anyway. National opinion. Shut the Pergesian border. Uh, remember, the Pergesian border... Uh, Pergesia is where... Um, or purges, I guess. Is where uh, the nation went in to stabilize and ended up destabilizing the entire place. And now there's just riots and all sorts of nonsense going on whoops okay so let's see this time in the national opinion column harrison o'donnell argues why the border to the parges needs to be closed i'll go and spill the beans right away shut the border between us and the parges now will you please <laughs> i like that the the periods make you make it very clear it's the same guy right but right will you please can't anyone see what's happening there i mean are you blind? Take a look at Triflith, for instance. That's where all the, the rioting is happening. Uh, the situation there seems to be escalating yet again. 2008 much? And just like then, the nation will let itself get dragged into the conflict. Just like then, the Pergesians will see the nation not as a friend who does the best to de-escalate the situation, but as an opponent who invades and seeks cooperation through force. History keeps repeating itself. That's certainly nothing new. Safety of any citizen is of utmost importance. That has been the party's premise ever since 2009, and ever since it has been working like a charm. Until now, that is, as some self-proclaimed benefactors in the opposition claim that borders are meant to be open to possible refugees. If I didn't know how we suffered already nine years back, I would agree without a doubt. I would walk out there and welcome them personally with arms wide open. But I do remember perfectly well. Though my name isn't Nostradamus, let me foretell something. We will see a rise in acts of terrorism in the very close future. Who knows? Maybe next week a bomb will go off in the middle of Farview or Bonton. Don't you pretend not to have been warned when that happens. Ah. Uh, oh, Harrison. Predicted assaults in Bonton in the National Opinion column. Silly, silly guy. Uh, I'm not gonna hold that against him though. This is one of that's one of those like He's I mean he's a talking head now, right? So, you know, what are you gonna do? Okay, so we're gonna call it there There is a lot of stuff out here. Let's close down the targets real quick uh, There's a lot of stuff out here With a lot of new data chunks. I thought we were gonna clean it up by the end of this episode, but nope So we're gonna call it there next time we come back. We're gonna untangle some of these we're gonna import some of these uh, data chunks that he had with initiate and uh, we'll go from there. If you enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe. Let's me know that uh, I'm doing something right and that you want to see more of this stuff. 
If you have thoughts on what's going on, if you think I overlooked something, if you thought I added uh, or did not add information that I should have to Orwell, by all means, leave a comment. Everything's welcome, and in any case, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.